Hi, I'm Vanessa Spencer uh, and welcome to another creative how-to video for Stampington & Company. Today we're doing something a little bit unique. We're here at our stamp warehouse with our stamp production manager, Daryl. Hi. Hi. And we are going to show you the stamp making process. Uh, Stampington & Company was originally a stamping uh, manufacturing company. Our president, Kayleen, uh, then progressed into publications and we, we still sell our stamps online at our store at stampington.com and we also sell them wholesale to retail stores. And we are going to show you step by step how the stamps are made. Um, we also have over a thousand stamps in our collection and uh, a lot of big name artists have designed stamps for us like Lynn Perella, Christine Adolf, Karen Anderson. So there's a lot of really cool stamps at the shop at Somerset in the art stamp section. So, um, first of all, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the stamps because we make them right here in the USA. Right. So, can you tell me a little bit about like the type of wood that you use and, and you know, is everything purchased here or? Mm -hmm. Yes, we use uh, a light maple, hard maple wood uh, that's all here uh, locally here in California. And our rubber is also made here in the Midwest and all our label paper for the uh, beautiful colored labels and the black and white labels are all bought from back east. Good. So yeah, everything is, is, is made here. Purchase are made right here. Great. Okay. And um, one of the nice things about our stamps as well is that you, you know, you cut every single rubber image by hand. So yes. it's just a lot of um, quality control and, and you see every single stamp that comes out of this warehouse. So That's so right. Very, very good. Quality, quality control is very important. Yes. Okay. Well, let's get started. I think we'll start with the labels and all right. I'm going to show everybody step by step how we make our stamps. Great. Okay. So all our stamps, uh, we keep master uh, copies of the, uh, the original artwork and then we use this special type of uh, film paper that we peel back. And so today we're going to make a uh, star stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to make, so these are cut already, but we trim them down. Usually they're in these sheets. And we'll maximize a sheet on a color copier and then the film peels away. So this is our label that we're going to use. Head down and we'll start cooking the rubber. Mm -hmm. Explain what all this right here is for me. Yes, now these are all our matrix boards okay. and we keep them in numerical sequence so that we're able to call out the artist's uh, image and, and on the matrix boards are actually impressed molds of the artist's design. Okay. So now that we have our label that we're going to use, we've picked out the design here of the stars and this is the board okay. we're going to use and cook the rubber on. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. well let's go get the rubber. So I've already pre-cut my rubber onto the matrix board here. And so we're putting it on our special spatula with our rods to balance it out. And we're going to put it in our the special Magic Stampington Vulcanizer machine, one of a kind <laughs> in the industry. Specially designed and produced by Kayleen Gillock, the president of our company. And how This will pressurize the rubber, and uh, we're going to cook it for seven minutes now. Okay, very good. All right, well, while that's cooking, uh, we can go and prepare the wood. So All right. let's move on. Okay. We have our maple wood blocks for our stamp that we're going to make, and we do light sanding on the edge. Okay. Real quick, just to take off the rough edges. Very good. No splinters. Exactly. <laughs> right. Very good. And now our wood is ready for uh, mounting the labels very and gluing good. down the label image on the top. Well, our uh, rubber should almost be finished cooking, so we'll go get that and then we can start cutting out the images. Right. Here we have our wood ready and sanded lightly. We make sure the uh, surface is nice and clear of any dust or particles. And we go ahead and get our glue stick here ready on the rail end on both ends of the wood that's been sanded. And then we take our special label paper, film paper. Okay. And we peel back. And it's already got an adhesive on it. And we center it. We make sure we remove all the air pockets, air bubbles, and then there we go. A little bit on the edge. Very good. Voila! 
instant, beautiful design stamp. Lovely. Let that dry. Very good. Okay. Okay, now the vulcanizer, the rubber is ready. Cook. Release this down here. We'll remove the wax paper. Okay. And the rubber is really hot, so we're going to let it cool off. There's the image. Cool. Nice and hot. Let it out there How long cool does off. that usually take to cool down? About five or ten minutes. Okay. But just to demonstrate, uh, we have some uh, rubber that's already cooled off here, and so we take the images here and we trim away the excess so we can put our cushion to the backing there. And this uh, cushion is two-sided. It's treated one side with an adhesive for the wood mm -hmm. and the other is treated to adhere the rubber. Okay. Two adhesives on both sides. See there we have three images and it's all set, it's cooled off, so we just line it up here. Yes. That way we maximize this. And we'll trim off the edges. Okay. There. And so now that's ready to and be And that's ready to cut on the scroll saw. And here's our image. We I happen to have a, a couple spares, so it's ready to go and ready to trim, so we can mount it on on our maple wood with the design image on it. Okay, let's go to the scroll saw then. Mm -hmm. Well, here we're at our scroll saw station, and this is a real fine blade here on this saw, and we're going to cut out the image that we need uh, for our stamp that we're making, and we'll cut it as close as we can to the, the design of the image, so that. Um, the artist gets the maximum usage of the stamp, its image. And there's our image of our stamp, star stamp. Over here we have, uh, <coughs> uh, here's a bunch that are in production right now, various stamp images and designs. And as you can see, we cut as close as possible around the image, so once it's mounted, uh, the person inking and doing their arts and their craft projects gets the maximum usage of the image. Very good. Our uh, label is dried nicely in the center on our uh, maple wood mount, and we're gonna take and transfer, peel away the adhesive on our rubber image and make sure our design lines up correctly. Center it, a little bit of pressure there. The adhesive's doing its work. Okay. And voila. Now it's stamp. ready to send to the customer. <laughs> so now we've finished the stamp making process and the stamp is ready to ship to the customer. Um, thank you very, very much for showing us how to, to manufacture the stamps. Um, and as you can see, you know, these are all handmade with a lot of detail and care right here in Laguna Hills, California. And thank you very much, Daryl. And now thank we're going to. You're welcome. We're going to move on to our next uh, step, which is part two, and we're going to show you a little stamp making project.